you've got yourself a great model, a great material, or maybe you just came from my previous tutorial about Blender Kit and you want to make a kick-ass thumbnail, but you don't know how to set up your lights. Well, let me help you out. Today, I'll show you my startup project that I use oftentimes for like product renders. I'll be going over a couple of these studio settings, but I'll also show you a super nice HDRI collection that will be also available with the startup file. Don't forget to show your support to the channel by liking the video, commenting under it, giving some feedback. I always appreciate that and make sure to subscribe for some more content. Now let's get into it. So this is the file in question. As you can see, nothing is lit, but let me open the first full studio lighting collection that I have here. Bam. So this is a metallic custom again from Syncretic 3D material collection that is this like chromium metal and it just immediately starts looking absolutely gorgeous. You can render this out and it already functions amazingly as a thumbnail. We can also run through some other lighting setups. So this is the full studio one, the sides, the double front that also has a really nice tinge and sheen to it. You have your three point backlit that's a bit more darker, but you will see a bit later where it's very useful backlit with fill with a nice spotlight to really focus on the asset in the middle of the scene and a three point backlit again that has a backlight that can be used with the cube shot or rather back drops so the backdrop is just a super simple infinite background that you can use for your renders but i've also taken the liberty of setting up like a cube shot so you have some props in the scene and again it's going to work with whichever one of these sides you're going to choose it has a strong backlight in the background but you can also turn it off and just use the studio ones that are available so you don't have too much exposure now let's try maybe some other types let's say you have a product photography shoot you are super late on the delivery you need to get it done asap so Let's take a cream, for example, and this is the cream with the full studio setup. It's already done. It's already ready to go. This one is a bit darker, so this one might need a bit of adjusting. But again, this is completely free and up to you to decide how you would like to use it. Right now, these guys like sides, double front, and these guys usually go and work in conjunction with the special HDRI maps that are available with this package. So now let me show you the HDRI shots. Since we're working with a cream, with like a product photography thing, I'll set the background strength somewhere around two and four, let's say with a nice three. So this, for example, is an HDRI that it's right now just custom made and it's meant to simulate like studio lighting as you can see we have a nice reflection on the object but again there's plenty of these there's going to be around 55 in the first drop this is for example another one of these you can also have colored ones so i've made like little variations here and there of blue orange complete coloring just completely discrete. This is another one that it's pretty dope, pretty colorful. And if we switch from the cream back to the shader bowl, you will see how it actually works nicely also with super reflective materials. For example, we will also change the color of the bowl, the shader bowl. Let's change it to something a bit different. Let's change it into a cloth material, for example. This is again one of the cloth materials from my personal collection that I oftentimes create by myself and use on personal projects. And again, we switch the HDRI that it's meant to simulate the studio lighting and immediately you have these nice blacks in the back, nice highlights. It just colors the scene super well. This is also a good one, a very interesting one, top down, bottom dark, and it just works. It surprisingly just works. This is an example of another PBR material that it's like in my custom collection that is like this cloth material. So basically, whenever you start testing different materials, you'll see that it just works, especially with the HDRIs. And like I mentioned, you can, for example, take an HDRI that it's in the pack. You can lower it down to, let's say, 0.5 strength. I'm just going to rotate it back to its normal position. And then you can, for example, use normal backlit or double front so you can basically mix and match the lightings and the one that really sticks with you you can then go and in the collection itself 
you can actually fine tune it. Like I said, for example, you have a photo shoot that needs to be done super quick. You need something just to put on the website. Here I've also taken the liberty of creating five different framings that you can export with transparency or without. Let's say we add the cube shot, which is looking something like this. And then you move down and you have this little composition going on. You move again to the third shot, which is like a closer, like an 85 millimeter camera. Another one that is like an 85 millimeter camera, just from a different angle and a nice side shot, which is also working great without the actual backdrop. And again, you change a bit the lighting setups, you go for sides. I honestly love the full studio the most. That's the one that's my like go-to that I go with whenever I'm making like thumbnails for Blender Kit or super specific, let's say, product photography, product render things. But I will dial in some of these powerful HDRI packs that also have a bit of lighting in them, a bit of different vibes, like an orange with a violet, with these stripes going down. So there's plenty of things to try out and mix and match with the project. There's going to be 55 HDRI maps there's going to be six different lighting setups that are vanilla to Blender, so you will not need to download any other add-ons or something. Right now we have two simple backdrops, five camera angles, and I'm also thinking about implementing a stock animation copy that is going to be super useful for animation and just animating straight up a super simple project. And also, of course, I plan to upgrade the HDRI collection to about a hundred pieces or maybe even more so you can really just run around and find the absolute perfect solution for your project this is going to be available very soon on gumroad right now it's just a startup file a blender startup file but i'm planning to make an actual plugin out of this that is just gonna have the studio lightings the hdris the animation stock settings that you will just be able to basically drag and drop in the scene and use for your own projects let me know down in the comments what you think don't forget to subscribe to the channel it helps me out a lot and i will see you in the next one